Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, booty beauties. <laughs> so, you guys, I'll be entirely honest. I was contemplating if I even wanted to do this video today. I woke up in the worst mood. For one, I napped yesterday, which is my fault. I didn't think it was going to set me off that much because I only napped for like an hour. But <sighs> I was up until like 4.30 and then this morning at 7 sharp, woken up by saws and jackhammers. Dude, oh my god. And then I just didn't feel well this morning either. I think I ate something that went bad. So I was contemplating if I even wanted to do this video. Uh, this is her live stream that she did yesterday not the eat with me live stream the other one so i guess girly is in her live stream era now we will not not be diving into every live stream like this if this is what she's going to do absolutely not but i figured you know other than the Big Cherry Retro React and a new amber video supposedly i figured you know oh we have enough for today but uh, Whatever, I'll just get this out so we can stay consistent. And then, yeah, the next few days might be just a little bit more relaxed. But yeah, thank you so, so much for tuning on in, guys. Sorry for all that rambling. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member. And yeah, let's dive right into this. So Foodie went through a very traumatizing experience. And now, you know, she needs to come on and tell us all about it. So this is that. <laughs> oh lord. The volume. Okay. I'm okay now. Hello guys, what's up? <laughs> hey Bev. You look so beautiful. You don't care. <laughs> Dude. He could not sound compelling. Like, Chantal, teach this man some new compliments, alright? He's got the same old one every damn time. Hair, why are you here then? I don't care about my hair. I need to like, I need to get some vitamins. If you, by the way, if you guys know, if you have thin hair, you, and like just. Listen, I used to have such crazy thick hair, but like, unfortunately the men on both sides of my family are usually bald by the time they're like 25. 30 uh, for a few good ones and i used to dye my hair like crazy so there's definitely damage done to it but eh, i'll be honest since i started working from home and focusing on youtube and my art a lot less stressed okay stress will do a huge number on your hair as well girl but i mean you're just unhealthy like it's gonna take a lot more than vitamins to freaking fix that. Not healthy hair. If any of you know what I can take to be, to have healthy hair, because I don't like, I don't- Girl, you should just go to a spa and get like a treatment done. But I mean, is that even allowed in Islam? Like, could you go to a salon and have, I guess maybe if it's another woman, that's fine. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are for that. Interesting. Like looking like Gene Simmons? <laughs> I had to search for a little while to really find like a photo that I think showed what she meant. Just that dried frizzleness. Okay. Today, the unthinkable happened. You're going to think, oh my gosh, dude, this is not even a big deal. I mean, it's really not. It really isn't. And I believe well she filmed this at night so no maybe the blackout was during the day but she was asleep when it started it is a big deal today there were heat warnings okay it was like the hottest day it was like 52 degrees 125 it was 125 today <laughs> time is money any <laughs> 125 dude i i honestly couldn't imagine that that's freaking hot Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm sleeping. I'm sitting over here complaining when it gets above 80. 
nice and nice and you know i'm dreaming about the burger king in the desert like obviously yeah, of course if the power goes out i'm gonna know okay so oh i'm sure dude i'm sure as soon as she doesn't feel that constant blow of the fan on her i bet she's right up like all of a sudden, my, I know my CPAP went out and I wake up and the fan is off. So if the fan is off, that's it. And like everything. <laughs> that's it. You know, something's wrong. It's eerily quiet. And I'm like, the power's out. The power's out. I start freaking out. I bet Salah was perfectly fine with it. Like this is, this is possibly the worst thing that could happen to me. The power going out. Um... I don't know, foodie. You losing a foot to your unregulated diet or losing your life to it. I think that's probably the worst things that could happen to you, girl. Getting a little hot and sweaty, yeah. And then AC, so there's no AC, there's no electricity, and I'm stupid. By the way she was telling this story, I thought it was like in the middle of the night that the blackout happened, and in which case, like, why would you care? Like, doesn't she say it's a lot cooler at night anyways? It, like last night I fell asleep not charging my phone, so my phone was at like 20%. I make that mistake so often. It's because I don't want to leave it plugged in all night. That's really bad for your phone. What's a rolling blackout mean? <laughs> She's so dumb. Anyway, so I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like it's so hot that like our bed is right up against our window in our bedroom. It's so hot in there by the window that like if you're on the bed, you can feel the heat like, you know, so Ugh. the past few days I've been having to like close all of my curtains, which I don't like to do. I don't like restricting the sunlight that comes in my plants. They need it. But, like, once it gets to about 2, 3 o'clock, that afternoon sun, oh my god. I mean, the sun pretty much, like, the way my apartment's positioned, the sun is basically always right in front of my apartment. It just kind of, you know, goes from one side of the sky to the other. So, I get the super bright early morning sun that comes in through my bedroom. And then in the afternoon, you get a super strong afternoon sun that comes in through the living room. And I've been having to just close everything up because it, like, you can feel the difference. <laughs> well, I usually, we usually have, like, the AC really low, blaring, and then we- Girl, you're part of the problem. Have the fan blaring, and it's good, you know? I usually need a blanket because it's cold. Okay, well, maybe, you know what, if it's so freezing that you need, like, a blanket, like, a blanket blanket, then you're probably going a little bit too hard with it, you know what I mean? So all that happened... Because, like, I like to be cool, but I don't like to be freezing or uncomfortable, you know what I mean? And usually, it's happened, like, once or twice before where the power went out, not in the summer, Usually the power would come on in like 20 minutes. Like if it goes off, it's not fair. I don't know. I feel like the summer would be the time where these things happen more often. As long as something in the building that the, the Hattis, it's called Hattis. It's like a superintendent who lives in the building and takes care of everything. If you ever At least she's teaching us something. <laughs> probably just like message him. You know, Salah contacted the Hattis and said like, um, asked him like what's going on. Like how long is it going to be roughly, you know? because <laughs> i was like i was tired i went to bed late and i'm like i need my cpap so so he's i bet she's a monster dude just like amber when she gets even just a little bit stressed out i bet she is a monster when i get stressed i go quiet but these ladies they just buckle down and make everyone else's life so much more freaking annoying I that he's not sure because it was like something with like the power was out like with the ministry so uh um, she was looking for that word she doesn't know what the government or whatever is called over there i'm checking like news updates online and like apparently like i feel like i wouldn't even go visit kuwait without more knowledge of the people the culture and the country in general than foodie has accumulated over these past almost two years like it's ridiculous dude what happened is like 
between the hours of like the peak hours of 11 a.m to 5 p.m when it's like the hottest people were like it was like overloaded like the system electric grids or whatever were like there was like power outages in all different areas of the city too like not just here so um it took like three hours that's really not that bad that really isn't bad so what i did was i went into the freezer and i took ziploc bags and i took she's literally like preparing for disaster the absolute worst i got ice packs and i just laid them all over my body like girl that's what they do to people in the er some ice little ziploc sandwich bags i took some ice and for i made a little like ice pack for salat and i i doubt he needed one and i was just like put i mean he's got some pudge on him but i bet he's fine putting it all over my body i had a shower now the thing about kuwait is there is no cold water like during peak hours what happened was well girl no wonder she's up super late at night then it's not the peak hours so she can consume all of kuwait's energy for herself <laughs> is I turned on the shower, there was maybe exactly 30 seconds or like 45 seconds of cold water. So I went in the shower quick. Even the past few days I've been taking cold showers, which that's not like me, but it's so hot here. <laughs> you know, it was washing quick, quick, and then the, and then the water turned really hot. Um, and usually when it gets really, really hot down here in Jersey, Sometimes I'll just go to Vermont. <laughs> I'll just drive up to my parents and be like, it's way too hot down there. <laughs> I need to chill up here for a bit. But in the summertime, dude, Vermont is just as bad. If not worse, because it's so humid up there. Oh my god. Like, any given day of the week, it's going to be 100% humidity. And like, yeah, you might not think that sounds so horrible, but I don't know, dude. I don't know. When you're... S I've said it before, when the sweat physically can't evaporate off of your body because of how humid it is, you overheat so much faster. Because that's just like the pipes, like, that's just like how it is. You know, like in the winter, when it's really cold, the water's really f more freezing. Well, here, like- I'm like, I don't know. I can't really believe that it gets super, super humid over there. Just because like, there's not that much moisture. It was on, the setting was on cold and it was still boiling water. It was hot water. So I had to shower in like pretty hot water near the end. Laid on the bed and good thing like we had, Salah has a really, really good power bank so i was able to charge my phone i was laying here and i'm thinking i, I was thinking like what if I, we were in the elevator like when the power went out so now my phobia of elevators has restarted honestly i thought i was gonna like perish in the in it, the thing girl that should be a sign that really should i mean granted no human should be stuck without power in 126 degree weather that is very serious okay like between morbidly obese people and elderly people heat like that is extremely dangerous but i mean elderly folks they can't really do much <laughs> but you chantal yeah you can stop stuffing your face thing is it didn't get <laughs> babe yeah hi ucp I would freak out. Imagine it being stuck in our elevator is small. Like they don't have big elevators here. Oh, she would literally freak the F out, dude. It would be so bad. They're small. So whenever the power finally came back on, it came back on after three hours, you know, alhamdulillah, I was like, I was so happy. I like forgot about my back pain, jolted up, hurt my back all over again. So anyway, we were- <laughs> wonderful so there's that thinking like should we like go outside and go sit in the car there's ac in the car should we go like drive somewhere and go have breakfast or something like that my phone looking two feet long what do you mean oh my lord yeah this too and she completely admits to uh, well i mean we'll get there we'll get there but uh, she admits to something pretty big i have no idea what you mean juice Okay, so the story's not over. So the thing is, is, sorry, I can't show you my chin, I'm Muslim. It <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was editing a video yesterday 
when this was live, so I was watching it, like, off to the side. When she said that, sorry, I can't show you my chin, I'm Muslim, I cackled so loud, dude. <laughs> it didn't get, like, too, too, too bad, okay? Like, at the beginning, I think it was, like, cold enough in here before that it just, you know... And the cat was just... Well, yeah, girl. I mean, if you just kept all the windows closed and everything, I mean, even, like, put a towel under the door, that would have probably helped keep it cool, you know, and maybe just plop yourself down on the tile. <laughs> like the cat. Being ...on the cool ceramic tiles, and she was okay. I was so worried about the cat, because I'm like, I don't want to go out and leave the cat here in the in the no AC. Like, oh, girl, bye, as if you cared. That was my main problem. Um, walking down the stairs is fine. I don't have to take the elevator or whatever. I'm thinking if we go outside- I don't know, girl. You've already fallen up those stairs once. So probably more than that, if we're honest. I, we have to, like, I don't want to leave the cat. What if it gets too hot? And- She did. <laughs> That definitely wasn't a main concern for her. Then I was thinking it's gonna be hot. It's If it's 52, it's gonna be so hot just even in the car, like we're gonna burn, like even with the AC. That's true, honestly, that's true. Even when it's like 90 degrees here, it takes a long, long, long time for my car to actually like cool down. Just cause the sun coming through, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy, like, What's happening? <laughs> Is the world gonna end soon? I mean, probably. See, so I'm thinking, okay, let's just wait it out, you know? So I had my phone charged in the power bank. I had my ice packs all over me. Only about the last half hour, I started sweating a bit. You know, I started like craving that feeling of the fan. And then all of a sudden after- Just in the last hour? Mm, I don't think so, girl. Like three hours, I hear, my fan power going on and the CPAP was still on right because it was like it I didn't turn it off when the power went off so all of a sudden the first indication that the power was back on was the CPAP going full blast Jesus dude that would have probably scared the crap out of me it was going psh, the hose and so I was going oh CPAP's on <laughs> So yeah, I forgot about my back injury. I bolt up, I, I, oh, like the pain was unbearable. So like my back is messed up again. That's why I have a pillow here. Oh, thanks foodie. Cause we could totally see a tiny little pillow behind your huge body. <sighs> and then I turned the fan on right away. And uh, yeah, the AC, you hear the AC come on and it was like, I hear it now, the most glorious noise. So anyway, the, the update on the ministry was that it was an overload of the system, which is not good because, you know, everyone's blaring their AC during this- Yeah, you more so, it seems. Time, and uh, they said that unless people start conserving the electricity during the peak hours of like 11 to five, they may have to start doing planned outages for like no more than an hour or two. And I'm- That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, that happens here in America. So, you know, it's not like a, a third world country, blah, blah, blah thing. I don't even think Kuwait could be considered a third world country, could it? It looks really freaking nice in some areas. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, girl. I don't know. Like, no, please. So I'm gonna like turn off everything. The only thing that's gonna be on is my seat. Maybe my seat pap. How many voltages do you think my seat pap takes? I'm gonna pack up a, a freaking ton, dude. I bet. Go. It's high. There's heat crisis all over the world right now. There's no. It's true. It's true. Wait, that's the thing. Although I got multiple comments that people in Oregon, 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 <laughs> in Oregon, that I mean, it still sounds hot over there, but it sounds a lot more bearable. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been trying to just like think of places that I would really enjoy and could really see myself flourishing in. And I have been considering Oregon, the Oregon coast more so. I just want that like practical magic kind of vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like I would really, really love to live in Salem, but Salem, Massachusetts. I know there's a Salem, Oregon as well. <laughs> 
But like, I don't know, maybe if Massachusetts is way too expensive, then I'll go to the other Salem. <laughs> That's why I was like, let's just wait to travel because everywhere is hot. Yes, I'll have a mukbang later, yeah. Homer Simpson with macaroons. <laughs> the first time I spotted a chocolate mini on the ground and I bent over to grab it. No, I'm just joking. My that wasn't a joke. That a thousand percent was probably what it was. Was she was bending down to pick up some food. Because she was super shifty about the story of how she threw it out. Favorite thing is the house being really cold and then you get to be warm. No. Yeah, you're part of the problem, dude. <laughs> you are part of the problem. Take off more layers. Wait, Katzi, really? 500 people? I didn't know that. Jeez. Dude. I believe they're talking about people that passed during this outage and heat wave. And she just, like, has no care. She really, really doesn't. Or just people passing in general. Like, I don't even know if it was about this specific situation. But, like... Dude, come on. Dressing crazy legal bees with your mama. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> Brenda was asking the hard-hitting questions, all right? Diane Sawyer. I'm not going to address stupid things. Girl, stupid things, but you knew you did something wrong because you deleted that live stream. Why would you go and delete it if, like, oh, there's nothing to address? Ball. Yeah, rest in peace for them. That's a horrible way to go. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace. Thoughts and prayers. Heat exhaustion? Howie is still alive and well. There's no- I don't freaking believe that. Replacement Howie. No, just because I don't talk about, like, how I do health content, like, telling you guys how many calories I had today, my weight, all that crap, doesn't mean I'm giving up on, you know, getting healthy. You literally said in one of your past- most recent live streams that your health arc is done you are throwing that out the window so good job and it looks it oh that was a little bit traumatic today yeah i bet it was for you girl i want to try to cook more like for sure <laughs> you guys liked my meatloaf mukbang yeah i had mostly vegetables someone was like this could feed me. mostly vegetables girl you had about a cup or more of rice actually it was definitely more than a cup she had a full like two pounds of rice a family of five and i'm like there's three slices of meatloaf okay yeah i don't think they were talking about that girl i think they were talking about the sides you know like i'd be more okay if you went up on the protein less on the carbs you know what i'm saying and you're gonna tell me you had a literal mountain of brussels sprouts like you can overdo it foodie me that you have five people in your family you're gonna feed with three slices of meatloaf pal i don't think so what do you do give half of each maybe i can do it she loves to just like dive in on dumb nitty-gritty details and like make it sound like the most secure argument you've ever heard dude it's freaking annoying her and amber both freaking do it live mukbang after Have yeah and she did she did she did a live mukbang which no we're not gonna look at that sorry you guys tried to learn much of the culture so far yes the culture yes <laughs> not the language though and truth be told she really obviously doesn't know much about the culture i integrate myself in the culture pretty well did I lose water? Yeah, okay. That's why you need your babysitter to go everywhere with you. Wait, I don't know, maybe. Which, I mean, that's probably a law. I don't know. I don't know. Are married women allowed to leave their apartments by themselves? I'm sorry if that sounds very ignorant, but, like, it's the perspective that most Westerners have of these countries that it's just not the best place for women. What do you mean, elongated phone? Oh, my gosh. Is this she knows what they mean. That's what you guys are coming up with now. Yeah, but I didn't... There's no ads, are there, in between? There are always so many ads in this girl's live streams. Like, it's ridiculous. What I do is I don't like the ads during the live, but then after I like them loaded up. Rewatch your video. Filters change shape of plates and a phone. Really? Well... She's like, really? I had no idea. La filmed most of it. So Yeah, on your phone. Maybe with the... the maybe, like with my phone because there's a filter on my phone okay but see so she uses a filter which we knew right we knew this she very clearly uses a filter 
Um, I think even in these lives, she could be using a kind of filter. But, I don't know. I don't know. Girl, you look bad. Like, it's On his, there's none. People even did. Oh, there's no f uh, filter on the iPhone, like a long time ago. So when he was filming, mm. there was no filter. It should be used. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Why? So now I don't want- Girl, lose some weight. I don't go in the elevators anymore because between the hours of 11 and 5 because there might be a power outage. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> she wasn't going to go in the elevators during that time anyways. She doesn't leave the house when there's people out. It's just miraculously, everywhere she goes is always dead empty. Anyways, you guys, this ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. So, sorry. <laughs> But thank you so, so much for tuning on in, y'all. I truly do appreciate you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.